it. What's this in your back pocket? I just saw you walking it. It's a navigational age. What's the problem? You a tyrant? Yeah, I am actually. What's your name and date of birth? I don't have to give that unless Yes, sir. I was investigating. You have reasonable. Do you want me to put you in handcuffs right now? Yes, sir, I do. This man was stopped by police for carrying a walking stick. Here's what happened next. What is your suspicion? It looks like you're carrying a gun in your back pocket. I'm stopping to make sure you're carrying it properly. You well, don't have, have you to... ensured that it's not a firearm? No, you keep turning so I can't see it. You don't have to be a dick to me. Well, you're being one to me. No, sir, I'm have doing my job. Day. Am I detained? Yeah, you are. What's your name and date of birth? It does not matter. Yes, sir, it does. Do you have a crime? Would you like me Call to your put supervisor, you in here? He's right here. All right. Don't, you don't. Sir, what's the stop you for? Or a walking stick. So, and it could look like a weapon. She asked you to really present it, okay? Now she's asking me for ID. Okay. I don't need the ID unless okay. there's reasonable, articulated suspicion. So after they stop a man doing nothing wrong and their suspicions are unfounded, they arrest him. And, her, and I have committed a crime and committing a crime and or her, about to do a crime. Sir, and her suspicion was that you were armed, okay? And she's asking you for your ID. Well, now right. she has verified that I am not armed, right. so there is no problem. you got problem. your ID or not? I do have my ID, okay. but you don't need it, okay? Okay. Where's your wallet at, sir? I don't have a wallet on me. Okay, where's your ID? Where's your ID at? pocket. Which pocket? You are not allowed to search me. It's in this pocket. There you go. Thank you. I want your names and badge numbers. 1257 on Nick 65427. Sir, are you legally blind? Yes, I am. Okay. I had to walk up here in the dark for jury duty, which was canceled. Why aren't you using your stick? You don't have to use your stick all the time? Well, not all the time. 26. Green. All right, Mr. Hodges. Was that that hard? It's going to be. I want your name and your badge you number. You know, I put in jail for resisting. Okay. All right, let's go. I want your name and badge number, too, sir. Have a seat. You want to pick my property up, please? I sure will, after you have a seat. You want to pull this out of my back pocket? Sure. Here, I'll grab your jacket for you, too. The supervisor then says they could have put him in jail for resisting. To be clear, he did not resist. They are 1,000% in the wrong. Columbia County Police give yet another reason as to how our tax dollars are wasted each and every day. The man in the video's name appears to be Jim Hodges, which matches his other videos on his YouTube channel. Freshers Live wrote that Hodges is legally blind. From what can be gathered... Nothing much has been revealed regarding what happened and why the Columbia County Sheriff arrested a blind man. The video indicates that the man was legally blind and that he was returning for jury duty, which was when he was apprehended by the Columbia County Sheriff who mistook his walking stick for a weapon. The police decided to arrest him when he questioned them. Chad Loader, who covers extremism in America, wrote on his Twitter... Hodges spent 26 hours in jail because of this, and he's still looking for an attorney with a link to Hodges' YouTube. Allegedly, the supervisor in the video is Sergeant Randall Harrison, who was recognized for an award. There are allegations that surfaced when Harrison's name came out that the sergeant left a canine unattended inside a vehicle on a hot day, and the police dog tragically passed away. The female officer's name is allegedly Jamie Lee Goad, who participates in propaganda and indoctrinating the youth in the local community. 